let's go back to the beginning. To Meridian, Mississippi, population 40,000 people, including a beautiful dietitian named Laura Stemke and a fighter pilot named Mark Infante. <laughs> Mark thought Laura was beautiful, funny, and, and smart, and Laura thought Mark just shaved his head because he was a Marine. <laughs> they didn't know it at the time, but they had started building their family. Their first date I heard about was Mark renting a plane, taking Laura for a ride, and going out to dinner. And I think the conversation went something like this. Come fly with me, come fly, come fly with me. Mark moved to California and, you know, we had to get the moving truck again from Penske and uh, take her stuff out to California. Wow, you look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Laura moved to California, Mark welcomed her happily, and together they reinvested in this special thing that they had begun to build. Now we can see what Mark and Laura have been building this whole time, this family. It's taking shape. The contours are more clear. They have a home together. They have a four-legged adult son named Roman. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Laura is one of the most genuine and sincere people that you will ever meet. She is someone who sends care packages when she knows you're having a stressful month, who makes you see each other at least once a year, and someone I know would, that would do anything for any one of us. Over the past five years though, I've gotten to know Mark and I can honestly say I couldn't imagine another person to compliment Laura so well. <laughs> Hello. Let's take you a look. Too. All right. Look at you. Look at this dress, babe. I love it. I love the veil too. You look great. Recognize that this is not about you as individuals anymore. It's about this union you formed. Always make your family the main character of your story, and I know you'll have chapter after chapter of happiness to come. I look up to you, and I'm proud and honored that you're here with me today. I promise to love you and care for you as long as we both shall live. I promise to start regrowing my mustache as soon as the wedding photos are over. Mark, I love you. I love that you're strong, honorable, and hardworking, yet warm and compassionate, caring deeply about those people you love. Thank you for being who you are. I choose you as the person with whom I will spend my life. I love you. Laura, we are so proud of you and the woman you've become. And we are so blessed to have you, Mark, in the family. We see the joy you bring to her. You are a man of great character, one who also has very strong family ties, as we heard today. <laughs> so. And we are very proud to be a parent of one who's serving our country. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. We're deep in the woods, surrounded by nature, and we overhear Mark and Laura from their tent. You know, they were quizzing each other on country capitals. <laughs> I know some country capitals, a few. Like when Mark was in Bahrain, I learned that the capital city was Manama, yeah, or however you say that. I may have looked it up for this. Um, <laughs> While he was there, I also learned that the mail Mark liked to receive was anything that added flavor to the food, like Chick-fil-A sauce. Whereas we may know 
that the male Laura likes to receive is anything. <laughs> Literally anything with her name on it. And so with that, I would like to challenge every single person in this room to send Laura and Mark an actual physical piece of mail in the year 2018. And you will absolutely make Laura's day. I promise that I will not call you if I am hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and I will always bring snacks with me when I leave the house. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> I promise to willingly listen to your ramblings, whether they are political related or jet talk. <laughs> well, I'll try. Uh, let us grow old together. I can't wait to eat so much good food with you. And let me tell you the most memorable time, the story about the most memorable time Mark and I slept together. <laughs> uh, we bought an 18 pack at the gas station. We drove to our campsite. We got outrageously drunk. Um, this was before I was ordained, obviously. But <laughs> it was the middle of the night when we both woke up. Something, something big was on our camping platform. So and then Mark goes to South Carolina, as you all know, and uh, and another moving truck, you know. But uh, <laughs> I guess I guess something happened over there, you know, with uh, you know the Italians and all that. Because when the moon hits the sky like a big pizza pie, that's a morning. <laughs> Mark. Do you, do you feel that? Do you hear that? I said very bravely and handsomely. <laughs> David, I'm extremely scared. Please protect me from the bear. <laughs> he cried in response. Now remember, I'm a minister, so you can trust me when I say that's exactly how it happened. David, my brother hissed, I'm faster than you. I'll run for the car and open the passenger door, and then you can dive in. I whispered back. Yeah, that sounds great, buddy. I'll see you out there. <laughs>